Hello, what is going on YouTube? Fusion Percy here bringing you my fourth video of Ark Survival Evolved. So as you can see I've got quite a lot of new stuff from, that's all old, but this is new. So I'm going to be showing you basically how to use this, like some new people don't really understand like what you need to do on it and stuff. So basically, spoiled meat, you can just get about 5 sacks of 20 inventory. Just keep spamming X and it will split it into sets of ones, I can't show you, you can't show you this. Just keep spamming X and it will split it into ones and it will spoil all at once and you get a lot. That's just for me because I'm one track, I've got all that meat. Then, uh, you want to go and gather some narco berries. It is quite hard to get narco berries and they do cost a lot for one narcotic, but it is worth it. So, it, I've got 100 narco berries there. Okay, so it's from consumable drugs. You also got to unlock it in the. Engram, with your own gun points in this section here, it's right there next to the paintbrush. In, it's there, it's thick, you could craft that, it's quite a slip. Now, they do take quite a while, but if you watch my XP, they do give you quite a bit, and it does help with leveling up. Yeah, I should give that much, I should give you that about 5. Yeah, 5. No, 4.2 to give you. So it's not that much, but it does help. So eat those berries. We don't want them. Don't let them Why that's wrong? I'm just going. There it is. There's an alb. Bino pterodon around here earlier, and for those of you who don't know albino, I just love. I don't know why it is, I just love having albino stuff, albino T Rexes, everything. I even want to paint all my animals just white, but you can't paint animals yet in this, unfortunately. Is that the other one? No, I can't even tell. Sorry about this, guys, I've got to make camera down. You're probably blinded right now. That's better. I think it is. I must go off, shoot it because I can't tame it. I don't want it to be here. Because it's going to bug me. And there you have it. There's some narcotics. That is quite literally all you have to do to be able to get them. Alright, now last time I told you I was going to get cell 15. I have done. I've got the bow, as you can see, I've got 58 arrows on me. It says 57, but I've got one already in the thingy. Now I've got something else to show you as well. In this box over here, which you can just see on the coastline, there, I have been collecting some resources which I couldn't really carry over to my thingy because it would just take me too long and I'd have to make about 50 trips. Well, I've got something, I need to get that. Alright. And I'm going to be making someone which is isn't really how to, but it's really fun thing to make. I've got to admit, I do love making these. And there it is the raft. Now I've got to run as quick as I can to this coastline. No, no Xbox signing, please. I say I've got to get something. My Xbox was that. Stop listening. Thank you. Please let me get to the coast. Nope. I would have got there, but since so see that leveled me up, it levels you up quite a bit, I've got to admit. Now that I'm at a high level, so it's thingy. If you can make it and give it to like it gets me near you who's level one, it will level up about five, seven times, five, seven times. I said drop some stuff out of straight away, 138, so I'm not that bad right now. Yeah, and there's the raft. Now, the point of why I love these things is because you can do anything with them. You can build massive ships off them, you can build small little bunkers off them where you nobody know, can get into metal or stone. It's just really fun because you basically got a transportable base, so if you get attacked, you can just move right like within a matter of five seconds, and it doesn't matter. So, I did plan something else for today, 
which was I was going to go out and kill him for a bit, but I think what I'm going to do now is just build a bit up this boat just to show you what I mean. Oh no. Oh. As you can see, that is albino, and, and it's albino and blue, but it looks very nice. And I know I can't drink it out of this one, but I'll try it. Oh, that was close. That was actually quite close to us then. If only I had trunk arrows. Nope. Right, so I'm just going to have do something I actually really love right now. I'm going to... See, this, this is what I love about my god on taming. So you've got your raft, and you just jump in the water, you can get bit up the ass by a big ass megalodon. And then you uh, try and tame it, it's bloody, it's well fun. Like I say, I can't tame a megalodon because I've not got a crossbow. Well, I think I'm alright, what's the stuff down here? Alright, I've got some circles on there, there's a megalodon. Got some circles down there, I. Need to go a bit first to see something. Now, I have thought about building over there in that little cave in the. It's not actually a cave, it's like a little cove area where you're safe from everything. There's another one. And it is actually a really nice place to build. Please come towards me. Do you want to fight some of this? And well, there. Should do it. So there's nothing else around me, which should go back to the hind. Alright, now you can't actually shoot bows underwater. So we got. So, well, guys, what you've got to do is you've got to get his attention, bring him to the surface of the water. Hey, come on, Shaggy. That's a black and green shark, so that's quite nice. And that just happened again. I know, shot it there. I don't know how, because I completely missed on my screen. He wants to get hit by his arms there. Now, you got to be quite accurate with the bow because, see, that's a bit annoying. But, it. Isn't it slows down the water, so if it's moving, then you have to drastically put it in front of it, you yeah, to be able to hit it. There you go, nice coming here. Oh, This should actually load me up quite a lot. I got it. Oh god, I just jumped in and forgetting that if a shark smells good, then it. One second, guys. Actually, I'm trying to. How quick to see if we can have sound there? There's actually nothing down there. I thought it would have been some oil or something. Which could be going. Oh, there's no rock, though. There's two more mega than some there. Right, I'm trying to go down to that oil rock in a second. In a minute, I will show you that cove where I was on about. I want to get this oil rock because oil is so hard to get. Especially when you're a low level and you've not got metal pickaxes or something to try and get it. So I'm just going to go down and see what I can get from this. Now, in my luck, I should make a little more come out of the wall. That has happened to me before. I uh, was mining something down at the bottom of the ocean instead of the pearl. And a megalodon came out of the rock next to me, bit me, and killed me. For those of you who wanted to know, I have. What? Oh, I For those of you who wanted to know, I have also tamed and killed and done everything with mosasaurs. They are fun. Oh, I'm about to die of auction. Oh, I forgot I am not. 
the high level I used to be with 500,000 oxygen. I'm glad this was just high level. Oh, I just lost half my health. Right, I'll take you over to this little cove I was thinking of building a small base until I get all my stuff from my bigger base. And um, come on. See, it's quite accessible by boats, so it is easy to get into. It's got, it's like kind of secluded, so megalodons won't really come in here, and even if you do, you have your megalodons on neutral. This, this is called Herbivore Island, it's because there's no carnivores spawn here. It's basically the opposite to the island on the other side of the map. So, this little thing here, where well, there's all these trees. I need to have my cats when I'm recording. Stop listening. Stop listening. Thank you. So this little cove here where there's all these rocks and trees. Once you've actually broken all these rocks and stuff, it is actually very big. Like it goes back all the way to that far wall. It is quite good and big and everywhere everything. But it will be quite a while to break it all out. I probably will build over here, just my like medium sized base until I get to the huge metal base with like 50,000 walls. Right, so that's pretty good. Now I just need to quickly do this. Which basically means I've got to pull my laptop and charge because I forgot it was on before. So now then, you see where I'm at? That... No, we'll start. I'm going to start a bit out of it now. And in between this next episode, you will see me basically. This will all be cleared out, and I'll start starting to build a big wall. Like, I've got ideas where I'm going to put a massive wall from that rock there from, to that rock there. A massive metal gate. Well, not metal. No, screw that. A massive make gate in between it, which will basically just like stop. Anything from coming in. I'm gonna have like wooden stuff on top of there, like wooden spikes and stuff to stop things falling in. Yeah, that'll be quite good. But yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit boring doing that. I might just go out. Let's see what I can find. Because I have, I have known this area. The land animals are very minuscule for like carnivores, like they're down to zero basically. But water animals, I've heard of mosasaurs, everything around here. Like, you'd be surprised. What is that right there? There's a killed itchy saw. Who would kill an itchy saw? Wait, what would actually kill an itchy saw around there? There's actually nothing which kills its saws in this game. They're non like, attacking animals. Okay, I'm quite worried. And Pleosaurs, Mosasaurs, Giganosauruses, and T Rexes, Carnos would attack them. Raptors don't. I've just looked to the back of the eye now and show a massive Giganosaurus attacking everything. I would actually cry. Oil deposit. I've probably got it killed now because there's something behind me. Yes, there it is. It's an itchy saw, another one. There's one of two itchy stars. I've actually heard that there's an underwater treasure key down around this little island somewhere. It's normally not near the rocks, it's normally it's like just out of the rocks. Oh, I'm a little look around for that because they do give you like ascendant mastercraft stuff like that is amazing how did that grow to me from so far away oh there's two of them that's gonna be fun my like, next 10 minutes for me
There's the one to buy me. Oh, it's gone away somewhere. Thank God for that. Oh, and again, I slip into trying to shoot it off the edge. And why weren't I hidden this area? Should be there any second now. Maybe a couple more arrows. That last shot. Come here. Probably won't be able to kill these last shots which I've got here. I'll try. Oh, can I should fire it. And Megalodons, I've killed two of them, I've got two levels off it, as well as crafting stuff, but they are extremely good for levels. Like, just because they're a pain to kill. If you're in the water with them, a pike, you'll be able to kill them. It'll kill you before you kill it. But I shall have a doubt in my mind. That's one wants to run away from me. I get a bit behind from that. That's actually what will happen to me. I get a bit from behind, I'd be gone. Oh. And for some reason, my mood makes me think that just shouldn't happen. Please, game. Please, game. Last one, and it killed it. I'm, this is amazing. Oh. I actually mean to do that, but well. I'll have to set up. Not that far, actually. Right, so, where level am I now? I know there was 16, but now I can start building all the exotic stuff off the back of the boat, like building ladders and stuff to get to the top floor, things like that. Right, so I'm going to end this video here, guys. If you like this video, then please give us a like. If you want to come on with the series, then please subscribe to my channel. The links for Fusion Riser, Fusion Perry, and Fusion Angu will be in the description below. And if you, next episode, I should be maybe with a crossbow and some pikes and metal tools. And I may be going out killing like megalodons and stuff and going down to Boston Ocean to get like player saws up and kill them and stuff like that. It would be quite fun. So I should see you next episode, guys. And also, I will be building the next episode. I've got to mention that I will be having lots and lots and lots of wood stuff made, pre-made, right in between episodes. And I'm just going to be building it all up, like building that massive wall I was talking about, building the base inside and the pen and everything. So that would be pretty cool. So, I'll see you next episode, guys.